And finally in sport, despite Australia's beach-loving culture, the significant drowning risks of people with autism remains a major issue. A fast-growing Australian established swim safety program is currently working to address the problem and it now provides specialised instructors in 13 countries. Seven-year-old Harrison Latisse has autism spectrum disorder, a neurodevelopmental condition that changes behaviours and how people view the world. Individuals with ASD can be prone to seizures and wandering. They often gravitate towards bodies of water. You're always scared and worried that something can happen to them and being on the spectrum more so because, you know, they're, they're 100 miles an hour sometimes. Drowning is the leading cause of death among children with ASD. Children with autism under 14 years of age are 160 times more likely to drown than their peers. Often they have a decreased ability to perceive risk and danger and often they're not very strong swimmers. ASD diagnoses have surged 1150% since 1995. One in 70 people have an autism diagnosis in Australia. Education on drowning risks has previously been limited. There's very little awareness in the general community about those with autism spectrum disorder, wandering behaviour and the attraction to water. Until recently there was a severe lack of specialised training for those with ASD and aquatics. We've got a pool at home so it's been important for us to make sure the Harrison learned how to swim. The difference between safety in the pool, safety in the surf, very, very different things. Established in 2015, Autism Swim is the only multidisciplinary body specific to ASD and aquatics. Well One-on-one -on -one swimming lessons and group swimming lessons are needed to target uh, water safety and swimming skill sets, but we also intertwine water therapy in there as well. A surf-based dippers program builds safety and awareness, educating on behaviours and reducing risks. We identified all of the reasons as to why those with autism are at such significant risk and we went ahead and developed a solution to each of those associated risks. He's going to run in the water, he's going to want to be in the water. We're going to do what we can to make him safe and without a program like this it would be up to just the parents to do it on their own. Joel Spreadborough, SBS World News.